Monte. Uh, obviously, biggest performance of your young collegiate career Saturday. How did it feel out there? Um, it felt great. Um, obviously, we couldn't come out with the win, but at the end of the day, um, I feel like the whole team didn't give up. We all we all went went uh, 100%. Um, I feel like it was a few mistakes that we could have picked up, but at the end of the day, nobody had their head down. Um, everybody kept their head up, and next game. After uh, the, the, the results Saturday and like, the last couple of weeks, what's the response been like these uh, first couple of days of practice? Um, the coaches have been doing a good job with uh, just making sure we don't have our heads down and staying until last week. Um, we're we're focused on the next game. Um, we're getting ready for uh, a battle. Obviously, it's two good teams going against each other and uh, just getting us ready. What, what is it that gives you confidence that this team, this offense, can, can turn around after what happened a week ago? Um, really, our O-line. Um, this whole team, and it's, our mentality is so different. We have so many seniors on our team and older, older, <coughs> older dudes that's uh, making sure the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors are keeping their heads up and not focused on the last game because Hey, it goes on. So um, we can't focus on one game. We got to go on to the next one and just keep a good mentality. Obviously, the, guy, the game didn't go the way you guys wanted it to. But how big was it for you personally, just to you know get reps and get a rhythm on the field? Um, it felt amazing. Um, I, I can definitely see that um, I have got way better from high school, and uh, just knowing that um, this this is my dream. Um, you know, just one step closer to to what I always dreamed of ever since I was three years old, and. Just really getting the ball and getting more carries, it was, it was truly a blessing. It's something that I, f I feel like um, I worked hard for ever since I came in in January, and um, something I feel like I deserved. And uh, thank, thank you to Coach DeMarco. Now that you've had this, uh, had this game, how much, how hungry are you to get another one? I mean, to get, to get more carries moving forward because that's how you were in, in high school, getting carries after carries. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I mean, I'm, I say I'm starving for real, but. Right. Um, I feel like I'm just really focused on just getting the team together. Um, I'm I'm a team player. Um, if it wasn't if it wasn't for the O line playing so great, I really wouldn't have what I had. A hundred yards just, it goes all to the O line. You can just take back the tape and watch what they're doing. I was just going under it. So, just really, I'm a team player, like I said, and I'm just I'm just ready for the next one. Now on Demarco, uh, how much do you feel you've grown as a player since the season started? And how much do you think DeMarco's contributed to that? Yeah, um, I feel like he's he's contributed to a lot. Um, outside of football, it's, it's really been things that you don't have to do as a coach. And um, I, I said this last time, I really do look at look at him as a big brother because um, it's things that he do that family members are um, supposed to do. And uh, it's not always about football to him. You can tell he's trying to go me as a man. And um, he's did a great job with that. I can see me more mature on the field, off the field, in class making sure my hoodie's off, making sure I have shoes on, not slides, and just different things like that. He's, he's trying to make sure we're good men um, first, and that's what that's why I appreciate from, from him a lot. Is it true the game slows down for you as you get more carries? Say it again? Does the game slow down? Has the game slowed down for you as you get more carries, getting more comfortable out there and on the field? I feel like one thing um, that's that's with me from other people, uh, I feel like I'm – I was always I, I fear God. Um, I don't I don't fear anybody on the field. I go out there and I do my thing. I focus on what I have to do, and um, I get to play. And I just I, I know I know who's blocking who. I know where I'm supposed to go, and I just feel way more confident. Uh, and that's that's all thanks to the older guys, Eric Gray, Marcus Major, Tyree Walker. So it's just thank you to them. Yeah, as far as just the stage of the Cotton Bowl, the excitement level I'm sure is there. Yeah. Uh, you really make a name for yourself in this game. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you make a name for yourself? Oh yeah, for in a sure. Game like this? For sure. Um, I feel like I've been playing football since since I was eight years old. Um, this is nothing new. This is just playing against older people, and I feel like I treat it the same way as it was in high school. I treat it the same way as it was in middle school. I feel like it's just you got to play smarter. You got to get your pads down. It's a it's a level game. You can't go high like how you did in high school. You can get your helmet knocked off. So it's just my mindset changing to that. But I feel like I stayed the same. I just I got to. Uh, bet, I, I adjusted a couple things as, that was uh, wrong with my playing and definitely made me a better player. That's stuff you've learned from those early games. For sure. Game, getting for sure. Hit, getting roughed up. For bed. sure. Being, being a guy that's not from this area, what do, you, what do you know about this rivalry? What's been your perception from afar? And, and what have the guys told you about the uniqueness of this game? Hmm. Um, I, I know this game means a lot. Um, obviously, the alumni is their thing um, in the past few years with not – Playing a good game, and um, I feel like this is this is something that we we treat it like. Um, one thing I will say, we're treating it like it's a normal game. Uh, we're not going to this game no different than we did against Kansas State, no different than we did against TCU. We're going again. We're going in the same way. So 
Um, I understand the coaches have sat down and kind of explained this is a this is a tough rivalry, um, probably the best rivalry in history. And um, I took that to heart and I took that to my mind. And even before I committed here, I looked at that and I just love the atmosphere and how crazy the fans are. And uh, I just feed off that. I feed off the energy. You say approaching it just like any other game, and I understand that for when the game starts. But have they talked to you much about the everything else in the lead up to a game? How how different it is just arriving there, yeah, and, uh, getting onto the field. Yeah, it's um they, they say it's crazy, and um I just can't wait to experience it. Pretty much, uh, they explain how how loud the crowd is. It's no, it's no, it's not like no other game we played in. Um, they explained how you really have to focus and you have to pay attention because you're going to have people that's your fans talking talking about you, but you have to lock in and just understand that next play, next rep. In a general sense, where's your guys' morale at right now? Because you're underdogs this week, not really sure right now who's going to be taking the snaps at quarterback come Saturday. So uh, has that contributed to any degree of uncertainty amongst you guys in the locker room, or is it pretty much same drill, different week? Um, that's, that's something I have to leave up to the coaches. I can't really answer. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, before this season, what would have been the biggest crowd you've ever played in front of? Um, definitely Nebraska. Um, it was something that's – matter of fact, I take that back. It was uh, TCU. Um, just sitting down and um, – just hearing people calling my name for the first time. I'm, I'm used to going to Desert Primes with probably 20, 30 people in the crowd. It was like at least 50, 70,000 kids in the crowd or people in the crowd. And um, it was just a crazy game. You could just hear people talking behind you. But you, like I said, you got to lock in and um, different different players are getting their name called and saying, crowd was saying different respectful things. And that's something I didn't really experience before, but it was, it was, it was fun for sure. What's the best thing you heard or the worst thing you heard? Uh, I heard a lot. I heard a lot. I can't. I can't. What, what was the biggest crowd you played at in high school? Um, pretty much all of them were the yeah. same. Right. Yeah, like game or anything like that that were different or a playoff game or anything like that. Um, playoff game uh, against Centennial High School, the same one uh, Ramondre Stevenson came from. But um, it was a good game. Uh, uh, I feel like we, we fought our butt off, but we ended up coming out with the L. But um, it was a great game. It was something that I, I didn't play in before, but I was ready for it. Uh, the, the coaches on that side actually coached me up in middle school, so they kind of knew how I was playing, and uh, it was a great game. Being a fellow freshman, what have you seen from Nick Evers and since spring last year and to now? Um, I've seen a lot of improvement. Um, me, and, me and Nick hang out all the time um, outside of football. We have talks all the time. That's my guy. Uh, I feel like one of the most, most important things to do as a freshman is just build chemistry with your players. And um, coming in with Nick, uh, it was just a no-brainer that I wanted to build chemistry with him being, being a quarterback. And uh, next few years, you're going to see me and Nick just balling out. So that's that's one of my closest friends here. How did it feel to get in the end zone for the first time? Uh, it, felt, it felt amazing. Um, uh, I don't know if you see my celebration, but I kind of did the act like you've been here before. Um, and it just it just felt good. I just can't, can't wait for the future and get more. Thanks so much. Appreciate you.